What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323, back at the marina with the Bayliner element right there. I just unbuttoned it. Today I want to mount this uh, fishing rod holder. This is a stainless steel one. This is heavy as crap. But uh, I wanted to show you, well, I mean I look like a bag lady every time I come to the marina. But I got everything in a bag because you always have this gap right here when you're putting stuff in the boat so if you try to do it one by one there's a tramp chance of dropping something so i actually do it in a bag like this and i put it down like that i gotta check that out that was coming off right there but i just put it all down at one time because there's less chance of dropping something individually in the boat so i'm gonna get the battery on on this bayliner element if you've seen my videos you've seen how to do it and after i put the battery on there's a couple things i'm gonna do i'm gonna check this for some more speaker aux cables because I got two speakers on this Bayliner Element with this Jensen and their Jensen waterproof speakers. But uh, I believe this Jensen actually comes with four speaker outputs. So I'm not using two of the speaker outputs I could be using. And then I'm going to, I have to fix some buttons. I brought some buttons that I got to fix. Let me show you right here. Uh, the button fell off of one of these right here. So I brought some epoxy to epoxy those buttons on if we have time. So let me turn on the battery, which is underneath here. And I'm gonna, I gotta update my Garmin also. So let's do it step by step. All right, I gotta get with the sun here. This is my uh, uh, pole mount for my Bayliner I bought. I'm trying to get the piece number here. It is piece number LNPM1948117912. And this is made for the this is made for a ski tower right here made for a ski tower this is actually very heavy very 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 heavy and if you can see my ski tower it bows out a little bit so i'm probably going to put it on this one over here i gotta have room for my speakers that are going to go right in here because i am going to get the speakers now i did attempt to check the radio from behind but it's all buttoned up and i don't got scissors or clips right to get rid of that um the zip tie around it so i don't want to yank and pull or whatever so i'm not messing with it right now but all it comes with is these two side speakers right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the other speakers up through here and mount two speakers in here now granted they're only two four inch piles but i'm not putting an amp or nothing like that i just want the power that i should be getting now i seen somebody drill through this tube i'm not going to drill through the tube i'm going to run the wires on the inside on both sides and put some black tape all around them but for right now i'm gonna put this on right here try to get a good angle where the sun's not too bright here the boat is moving so i do apologize for that all right now these are allen settings and it is going to go on the outside not on the inside and how this goes this is all stainless steel okay so once you take all that off you can actually move this Oh shoot, you need another Allen wrench to move it. To angle it. See? You need another Allen wrench to move it. This is actually built very good. See that'll be shooting straight back. So therefore I do gotta get the other Allen screw to move this, which I did bring with me. Let me find this somewhere here. I put it in the same bag that I was gonna be working with. So what I don't like right here really is there's no rubber right here. So once you put it on, it's just gonna sit down there really good. Brought my Allen set right here. Uh, that doesn't fit. You gotta be kidding. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. Get that out of the way. Bring this up right here. And this is what actually gets you the angle. And what's kind of cool about this is it does lock in place once you get the angle that you need. You gotta back it up before the teeth can move over, move around. And then you're gonna find out from your pull what angle you're gonna want your pull at. I'm trying to keep it out the way because that's our actual swim platform. So that's why I'm trying to kind of keep it out the way of the swim platform. But it got to be convenient where you could actually grab it pretty fast. And I don't want it to be hidden on the fiberglass. So that's where it's going to go. And I, you got to be able to get your canvas underneath it also. So 
of course that's where I think it's gonna go <laughs> we'll see where my honey's gonna think it's gonna go right should have brought the boss out here with me first one bogged down pretty tight like I said the only thing I really kind of don't like is there's no rubber pieces in between it at all and in the middle on the top is gonna be my pile of speakers that I'm gonna buy I was trying not to buy them until I seen the uh, what it really looked like in the by the underneath the dashboard but there's so much wires underneath the dashboard so that's where it's gonna go right there and then all you're gonna do is tighten this down right here voila that is good to go that's my fishing pole holder for my uh bayliner element right there kind of where i could grab it from the back i didn't have to put any holes in there at all no holes in there at all so <laughs> i got poles with bigger ends but <laughs> That's kind of short right there, but it's, I think it's going to be in good enough because that's a lot to pop out before it comes out. And I do got bigger fishing pole holders also, so we'll check it out when we're out there. Uh, I didn't want to interfere with the swim platform, but I think if you're coming on the boat from the swim platform, you could actually grab onto this because there's nothing really to grab onto, so you could grab onto this to get on. Like I said, stay tuned because we're going to put the speakers right in between here also. All right, I upgraded my Garmin. Uh, I checked for the wiring. I couldn't figure nothing out. So let's go ahead and uh, get some gas.